Hello everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're having a good day. So today we are painting a feathered headdress and we're painting over another painting. So the colours I'm using today are iridescent rich gold, halo blue, titanium white and iridescent blue. Oh, I just love iridescent blue. I love my blues. So I'm just going to show you how I use the hairdryer and then we'll go into what's happened with the painting. So the angle of the hairdryer, can you see? It's about a 30 degree angle and I'm blowing from the base paint, which is halo blue. Once your Dutch pour is all lined up, surprising how quickly it happens. Do you ever find that? So I'm blowing out from the white, gold, blue and then white. And as I do the background, I'm still coming from the base paint. I don't tend to blow over too much so that the, the paint isn't mixing to the point where it gets murky. And that's the defining point. Sometimes when it gets murky, it's actually beautiful and depends what look you're going for. But today I'm going for a feathered look and I'm just gonna show you how I use the palette knife in a moment after blowing those air bubbles out. So the original painting um, was done minutes before. It was blown out at a slightly wrong angle, so it didn't have that curve. So I decided to do it again. All I did was I renewed the dark, almost iris in the in the semicircle again with paler blue, and then I put the lines in of the gold of the white, gold, blue, and white. Okay, so I'm just going to show you now how I use the palette knife to define the feathers, and what I'm doing here. As I'm picking up the darker paint with a very small palette knife and gently carrying it through, being careful not to go down to the canvas, but just to be on the surface. This is quite a, a point in the painting where you think, oh, am I going to go wrong? Is it going to go wrong? And sometimes it does. But if you persevere and trust and take that risk, that's where the excitement is as well. So picking up the darker paint and just going with what feels right with the flow of a feather. There's no right or wrong in this. The same, we judge ourselves so much, so much sometimes, don't we? Okay. So just enjoying. This is quite a mindful part of painting. I do enjoy just going with the flow of picking up the paint and moving it through. Just wanting to use a little bit of white as you can see there as well as the, the darker palo blue and in a minute I'm going to start using some gold to define the headdress a bit more. So a couple more feathers and we're ready to use a little bit of gold. There we go. One more there. Right, so we're just picking up a tiny bit of gold on the edge of the palette knife and I'm defining now the headpiece where it goes round the forehead to the back of the head. I'm really picturing what it'd be like to wear this headdress. So you see this, the shape of it is very slightly more angled on the left than it is on the right. And so this is a point when you're embellishing how you can change the shape very slightly. So I'm just speeding this part up now where you can watch the rest of the gold being added. And I'll take you in for a close up shortly. This is one of the bits of the painting that I absolutely love doing. So I just want to say thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you enjoy the close-ups. 
hope you've enjoyed the process and if you've got any questions let me know so next week is going to be autumn fall colors and i would love you to join us we're doing a bit of a collab next week so have a wonderful day happy painting and i hope to see you again in the next video enjoy the close-ups bye for now